Okay, so let's try to do example on conservation of angular momentum. So let's read the question together. So, figure shows two circular discs. Two circular discs. So ada disc A which is at rest tak gerak. Disc B je rotates and then with angular velocity scan, scan, scan. And then dia cakap the moment of inertia of A and B then, 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 adalah 0.5 dan 0.3 lah. And then dia cakap uh, A tak gerakkan so B is moved towards A. Sampai lah dia it touches uh, A sorry it touches A over here. Until it touches A. So B gerak kat A lah. Because friction exists between the surfaces of both these, they finally, uh, so ini dia nak describe kadar initial lah. So this is, uh, start daripada sentence ni, I need lah after, final. Okay. And then, finally, rotate together. So, rotate together with the same angular velocity omega. Okay. Then, then, then if no external force acting on them, so determine the angular velocity omega. Okay, so sekarang ni, kita keluarkan information yang kita ada. So, let's say lah we have this A. Uh, we have, sorry, we have this A and we have this B, right? So, this is initial lah, initial. Okay, dia cakap uh, A awal-awal, dia punya, the stationary, so... Benda ni berputar. So, we don't use velocity. Eh? We use angular velocity which is omega sama dengan kosong. And then, cakap B pula rotates with um, rotates with 150 radian per second. Okay. And then, apa lagi dia kasih? Dia kasih I, moment initial untuk A adalah 0.5 and then dia kasih moment initial untuk B adalah Ah, zero point three. Okay, okay. So what happened? The B uh, A tak gerak, B yang rotate. So lama-lama dia pun what happened after that? Okay, dia bergerak. Uh, okay, so nak cakap kat sini A dengan B ni bergabung kan? And then dia bergerak with the same angular velocity, which is tak tahu berapa. Okay, so tengok final kita. So final. We can say that uh, I, I A dengan IB masih sama lah Tapi dia punya sebabkan dia berputar sama So omega dia, dia adalah sama Same Okay, okay so uh, disebabkan uh, soalan ni ada initial dan final So and then dia kasi kita uh, uh, Apa nama ni Moment initial dengan angular velocity So ni sememangnya adalah conservation of angular momentum Di mana Okay in total Uh, angular momentum before sama dengan total angular momentum after ok, so dia guna simbol L eh. ok, ok and then kita tengok, ok sebabkan kita ada dua objek, so kita ada dua momentum lah so we say that we have okay, formula L ingat balik I omega, so ni akan jadi sebabkan ada dua objek, so ni adalah untuk objek this A plus uh, this B punya Okay, and then kamu kena tengoklah final disebabkan dia rotate together. So, dia bergabung lah with the same angular velocity. So, dia bergabung. So, kita cakap IA plus IB omega. We should start tahu omega ni berapa. We want to find that omega. Okay. So, kita pun masuklah information yang kita ada. So, this is um, 0.5. This is 0 plus. Okay. Sorry, this is 0 0.3, 150, 0.5 plus 0.3 and then omega. So, kalau kamu tekan calculator, your omega should be 56.25 radian S negative 1. Okay, right. And then the second question, dia nak the energy dissipated in the process. So, obviously, kita kena kira lah total energy initial dengan total energy final. Okay. So, this one. Okay, apa formula energy untuk formula ni? So, we know we know that K equals to half mv square. But, itu untuk linear motion. Untuk rotation motion, it will be okay, m tu jadi i, uh, v tu jadi omega square. So, kita kena kira untuk initial dululah. So, tengok initial kita ada 2, right? 2 this. So, it will be. Uh, so, the tips for this is just 2 letak je 1 per 2 kat situ. 1 per 2 kat situ. Uh, formula. 
you find it easier okay so you will be 1 per 2 i a omega a square plus 1 per 2 i b omega b square and then kamu pun masuklah nilai dia ya but you already know that this value over here will be zero kan so ni akan jadi 1 per 2 uh, 0.3 150 square so if you tekan calculator your answer should be Three, uh, I think it's three three seven five two. Okay, you might want to double check. So that is initial, and then final. Ah, uh, sama juga. You just letak aja satu per dua, and then you square kan kat situ, right? So final you be. So this is initial. This is final. So satu per dua i a plus i b omega square. So masukkan. So this one would be 1 over 2, um, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3. So kamu akan dapat jawapan dia sama 1265.63. Okay. okay, so nampak tak nilai dia berbeza? So ni lagi tinggi, ni lagi rendah. Um, so sekarang ni nak cakapnya ada energy loss lah uh, Energy loss ni sebenarnya Disebabkan oleh heat lah uh, Sebab ada friction kan So energy loss So dia nak energy dissipated energy loss tu berapa lah So sepatutnya energy awal dia banyak ni lah Tapi hilang kat sini So macam nak kira just tolak saja kan uh, Delta K sama dengan K final Tolak K initial So ataupun eh, sorry K initial tolak K final lah Sebab dia berkurang kan energi dia. So, initial mesti lagi banyak. Okay. Okay, final. So, 3, 3, 7, 5 tolak 1, 2, 6, 5.63. So, your answer should be um, uh, uh, 2, 1, 0, 9.4 joule. Okay, betul ke? So, it will be 2.1 kilojoule eh. Okay, so, itu saja. So, please uh, copy the solution. Uh, this is very important because this question is very similar to your assignment. Okay, thank you.